Uh, something not uh, mentioned often when it comes to energy use and reliability, uh, but also at the heart. Many of the systems that you're talking about in your book are really the, the heartbeat and the circulatory system of, of the plant. So what about hydraulic systems? What are the opportunities around hydraulic systems? Hydraulic systems are very, very similar to the compressed air. It really comes down to keeping the system clean and in control. And uh, one of the things that within the manufacturing world that uh, we typically don't get that they, uh, they get very well within the airline industry is that uh, the biggest thing with hydraulic systems is keep it, start number one, keep it clean. Number two, if possible, keep it leak free. That becomes difficult in manufacturing. Right? And it comes down to consequences, really. In the airline industry, when a hydraulic system fails, there's severe consequences, the potential of them. In the manufacturing world, it's, well, there's a puddle on the floor. We'll put a drip pan underneath it, and we'll, we'll put some pigs down there and soak up uh, whatever's leaking and, and move on. They're certainly not going to shut down the equipment for that. But uh, once that system begins to leak, right, and while it's under pressure, we've got hydraulic fluid coming out, and it's evident. We can see that. And around that leak collects dirt. Now when the system shuts down, it cools, it pulls vacuum, the dirt comes in, and now where we have a system that was uh, being lubricated, it now has wear particles in it. And so we're going to see wear. Once we have the leaks and we have wear, we're going to start to see uh, ports plug up on valves. We're going to see uh, uh, constant recycling of the fluid, right? So constant heating of the fluid. Once we start to overheat that, we're going to have degradation of the fluid. And all of these things are consuming energy. We're running the system more than it needs to be, struggling to keep up with the pressure that it needs to operate at. And as a result, there's quite a bit of uh, energy loss that goes along with that.